And I looked over and I was like, oh my gosh. And I said, Liesl, be mine. Would you be mine? I'm a very dramatic person. No! Men, please drive sometimes. Please. Not. I don't remember how it happened. And this is gonna be our life. We're just gonna live in a land of cupcakes and rainbows and never fight. Hey guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. If it's your first time, thank you for joining us. Go ahead and like. <laughs> Couldn't think of what to say. I'm Ian, this is my beautiful wife, Liesl. We have a son, Zachariah. He's actually almost 18 months. 18 months. In a couple days, he'll be 18 months. If you are new, we have been married for four and a half years, five this July. 2021, depending on when you're watching this. You might be watching this in the year 2025. <laughs> in which case we've been married for nine years. Does Let's it, not worry about matter. the math. Who cares about the math right now? Most of you that don't know us probably found us from our How We Met video. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna try to link it here or here or here. I don't really know how to do that yet. I'm gonna research it. If it doesn't pop up here or here or somewhere, it's it'll in be the in the description. description. If you haven't seen that one, feel free to like this video, subscribe pause. to our channel, hit the bell, pause it, click that video. Go watch that video all the way through. Come back and watch, watch this. Watch all the ads. <laughs> come back and watch this video and you'll have context for what we're about to talk about yes. today. We are going to talk about our dating journey. It was a journey. We, so for context, a little background. We dated for six and a half years before we got married. He proposed on our six year anniversary and then that following summer, we got married. We got together pretty young. I mean, we are young, but I think we look younger than we actually are. <laughs> How old do you guys think we are? <laughs> if you say 40. We're not 40. 40. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is our dating journey. It was a doozy and by the grace of God, we got married. Yeah. Literally. So we ended the other video with I asked you to be my girlfriend. Yes. It finally. was September 1st. The year was 2009. Nine. Yes. And I said, Liesl, be mine. <laughs> Would you be mine? <laughs> he did not. I don't remember how it happened. And but... so, so I said, girl, be mine. And she was like, oh my gosh. Yes. More than anything. A thousand times, yes. Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty much on the inside. I tried to keep my cool because, you know, we were still new. Newish. Newish. We were friends, but we weren't like, I don't, I don't even know. Like there was a lot of learning we had to do, even like as yeah. friends, as quarters. Is that a word? I don't know. I don't know. In the, in the like limbo stage between friendship and girlfriend, boyfriend, there was like a yeah. little limbo. As anybody knows, like if you get into a relationship, there's a lot to learn. Yeah. There's a lot of dying to yourself. Yeah. If I mean, to be successful. Mm -hmm. And I think the goal is I put you first, you put me first, and we're always both first. Yeah. I think people get concerned with, um, I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. Which I had a very hard time doing that. I will admit, let me just say, I was not a good girlfriend for a lot of our six years. I was very selfish. I was very, I guess, self-centered. I was just very much. <laughs> I feel weird. I don't want to agree with you, but. But it's the truth. Yeah. We're just, this is like our story. Yeah, and yeah. I, I will fully take the blame and take all of <laughs> <laughs> he did he did some wrong things too, but Ian was a very very good and patient person to deal with this mess of a person. <laughs> you can agree, it's okay. Yeah, I agree. We've moved. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> we have come a long way. I have made leaps and bounds. Even I can say that. Yes. Um, Absolutely. there was just there's a lot that happens when you take two people that come from two different families. Go figure with two different upbringings um, and you're trying to navigate dating and navigate like a relationship and just how you deal and handle with things. I very much like to sweep things under the rug. It's still something that I, I don't wanna say I struggle with, but it's still something that I'm not like 100% over. So let's talk about that real quick because you get in a relationship with somebody, there's going to be conflict and there's going to be disagreements. Yeah. We were on the opposite end of the spectrum of how to deal with conflict. Yeah. I was like, well, let's talk about it. Let's just get this over with now. What are you saying? What am I saying? Let's find some common ground and be done with it. No point in dragging it on and on and on. Liesl, she used to not only sweep things under the rug, but she would try to like hurt you with the silent treatment and try to like punish you with 
her absence. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she'd come back, but it just acted like nothing ever happened. Yeah. And I'm like, you haven't talked- Which is how I dealt with everything. Yeah. I was like, you haven't talked to me for four days. And all of a sudden, you you just act like we've been talking the whole time. <laughs> so that was definitely a huge growing pain. I will say, for the first year, we were definitely living in a very- honeymoon stage like we were yeah 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 super surface level i mean we were young we didn't have any no issues we went to school we went to work we hung out and that yeah, was that and right. we didn't really have anything that we were dealing with i don't know we just didn't have any problems <laughs> and then i think after that when it, things started to get like real serious even though things were pretty serious from the beginning i mean if you watched our last video you found out that we said i love you 20 days in 21 days 20. Oh, it was the 21st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it was right. the 20th. It was the 21st. I promise you. I promise you on everything. It was the 21st. Okay. On yes, everything. Yes, yeah, you're right. You're yes. right, you're right, you're right. Wait, uh, say that again. <laughs> wait, 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 what did you say? You're right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, so for the first year, great. Everything's amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to marry this guy, which I knew I was. And this is going to be our life. We're just going to live in a land of cupcakes and rainbows and never fight. And then we had a fight. And then... I don't even remember what our first fight was. I remember one of our first disagreements that was like, what is happening right <laughs> now? We did something and you were dropping me off at home. Mm -hmm. I did most of the driving, but sometimes I let her drive. So, yeah. you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't let your girlfriend drive you everywhere. No. Man, please drive sometimes. <laughs> please. Most of the time. Most of the time drive. But on this occasion, she drove me. We were in my driveway. Oh my gosh, it's all coming back to me now. She had pulled on a thread of my shirt and it was like unraveling and she just kept pulling on it and pulling <laughs> and it like left a little hole and I was like, what are you doing? Like, that's my, sh that's my shirt. You just didn't think it was a big deal. I was a little bit like frustrated. Like, why would you pull on my shirt when you saw that it was unraveling and she kept going? And so she's like, well, well here, just pull on mine then. Here, and I was like, I don't want to pull on yours. She's like, no, pull on mine. I was like, I don't want to pull on yours. I'm not going to pull your shirt threads. She thought that would make it all better. And I was like, no, I'm not going to. But the argument was, she was like, pull my thread. And I was like, no. And the so things she, you fight about when you yeah. have nothing to fight about. And she's like, if you don't pull my thread, you gave me I some ultimatum. Know. It was like, Something it was like, if you don't do it, I'm leaving right now. And I said, okay. And I got out of the car, I shut the door and I waved to you. <laughs> and you left and it was one of those things like, it's so stupid. It was, yeah. So stupid. But looking back now, you felt bad. Yeah. That you messed up my shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm so particular about silly things like that that i was kind of like i wasn't mad at you but i was like well why would you why do, would you do why that? would you yeah. do that and, and instead of saying i'm sorry instead of saying i'm so sorry i didn't i didn't mean to do that i don't know why i thought i'm so sorry she was like well just pull mine and it'll be okay <laughs> it was not okay so that was one of our first silly arguments yeah and then <laughs> i hope you guys care about this <laughs> <Me too. laughs> it was a lot of that in the beginning it was a lot of that in the beginning and a lot of me just taking things from like a level one to like a level 12 for no reason other than I just didn't want to cave. Yeah. Case in point, I wanted to win. Nobody wins in an argument, <laughs> but I was just like, no, I'm going to win this. This is dumb. Yeah. Cause like that was an argument that escalated, mm -hmm. but we would have just disagreements. Like I didn't really care for mushrooms and you like mushrooms and you would be disappointed that I didn't like mushrooms as much as she did and so because she wanted to it. share it with me. Yeah. And so she would kind of go off the deep end. And I used to be like, listen, we're not going to like all the same stuff all the time, yeah. but that doesn't mean it has to be anything serious. Or I wanted to do something that she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't really care to do it, if I wouldn't do it on my own, she didn't want to do it. It's like, you want to do it? I would love to take you. Yeah. And she was like, well, if you don't want to go. And I was like, I do want to go, but I want to go because I, because it makes you happy. And I just wanted, I didn't want to do anything that I didn't want to do anyway. And I didn't want to make him do something that he doesn't really care. I just wanted him to like everything the same amount that I do, which that doesn't work. That's no, and, it, and, it's, and it's unrealistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because we have different interests. Yeah. We, we do have similar interests on some things, but a lot of different ones. Yeah. And I think the whole point is you can do something that you don't want to do mm -hmm. for your spouse or yeah. our spouse now or your significant other. And it can bring you joy because it's making them happy. And Not I, because you enjoy doing the thing, but yeah. it's because I want to do it for you. I see that you're happy. That makes me happy. And I just didn't grow up seeing that. So I didn't understand it at the time, yeah. which caused, again, a lot of issues. Um, also, I'm a very dramatic person. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Not like, at all. No, you dramatic. There's no way. I'm. This is the first I'm ever even hearing or feeling this. I'm black and Latina. You know, we're just loud. It's, I just feel everything on a deeper level. I'm spicy. Um, so I just would blow things out of proportion for no other reason. That's just what I wanted to do. I'm, I'm an actress. And so it's just not that I was performing, but it's just I would just take things to the next level. If I was giving the silent treatment, I would give the silent treatment to a T. I would not bend mm -hmm. for no other reason than I just didn't want to. Clearly you can hear how selfish I was. <laughs> but I think also what we need to address is that our communications, well, yes, our communication styles were different. Whereas he wanted to resolve things right away. He also didn't allow me to take a minute. If something would happen, we would get in an argument. I'm up here. He didn't allow me to come down yeah. at all. You just wanted to resolve it while I'm here. and. Yes, I knew I needed to apologize or I knew that we needed to talk, but I needed like to go or yeah. I needed to like de-escalate because right. he wanted me to apologize and discuss things here. And so if I said, I'm sorry, he's like, well, why do you have an attitude? And I'm like, because I don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to resolve things because a lot of times I felt like they were being blown out of proportion. And I was like, no, 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 no. Let's just get to the bottom of this now. It's really not that big of a deal. And I can't see it at that point. And, and she didn't communicate to me effectively like, yeah. hey, just give me some time. Yeah. And here's why, because we were young, and but I was like, I was like, no, 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 we're going to talk about this. And she's like, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. And like, absolutely not. So you want me to apologize? Okay. I'm sorry. And he said, well, why do you have an attitude? I was like, so immature. <laughs> like, because you told me to apologize. So here's your apology. We can get on with it or. Yeah. But that didn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It, it never <laughs> works anyway. Um, now we're better at it. If I get to hear. You know, he gives me some time, he gives me some space. I can assess, I can come down. Even if I'm not wrong, I know that being up here, um, I do some wrong things. Maybe say some wrong words, make some wrong choices. And I can see that once I'm down here and I can say, hey, I'm sorry I said this, or I'm sorry I yeah. treated you this way. I'm sorry I didn't. Yeah. Honestly too, I'm just gonna say this, when you don't think you're wrong, but you come and approach the other person and say, I'm sorry for the way that you feel about this, or I'm sorry that I said this and it made you feel this way. Even if I think like, I'm not wrong, she's 100% in the wrong. If you just humble yourself from experience yeah, and approach the person, generally they will be like, I'm you're sorry, not you're not wrong. It was, was me, saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have the verse, but I think it's like in the Bible says like a soft answer turns away wrath. Yeah. I gotta have to look it up. But like an aggressive uh, tone stirs up anger, something like yeah. that. It's true. Yeah. It, re it really is true. Also, again, on me, I dealt with a lot, a lot of self-worth issues. I, oh man, I don't want to cry. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, I just for I would say from like years two through five, I just didn't think I was worthy of Ian. Um, so, I did, no. okay. so I did everything, I every fight that we would have, I would just be like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't deserve you. You deserve someone better. You deserve a better Christian girl or a girl that grew up Christian. And he's like, no, that's not. He's like, I, I love you. I want to be with you. And I did everything in my power to try and push him away with every disagreement we had. I just didn't feel like I was the woman that he deserved. And that definitely um, caused a lot of issues. It caused, we broke up a couple of times. One time like was small, but we broke up again. I was pretending like I was I, if I would go out with like girls, I would pretend like I was single, not in like a, I don't, I don't really know how to say it without like, I didn't treat him the way that he deserved to be treated. I didn't give him the respect when I wasn't with him that he deserved. If someone was giving me attention, I reciprocated it and I just had to get over that and I had to get out of the mindset that I wasn't worthy and once that happened, then you know we were we were good i think around year five i realized it's been a while since we've had a fight well something important happened i mean for a lot of the time we were playing christian 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for a relationship to truly work, I feel like you have to have Christ at the center. Mm -hmm. You just do. Because, you know, people, we're only so good. You know, your morals can only take you so far. Your self-control yeah. to not blow up at somebody or whatever can only take you so far. You need God. Yeah. And so I think in, in with this, with self-worth stuff. There wasn't anything he could say or do yeah. that made me feel like I was going to be worthy of a good man, of the man that he was. Um, without God, there's no way we would be together. Right. Yeah, Zero. I think that's what I'm, what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah, is like it wasn't like it just clicked. Oh, right, we're good. We made a decision. We're like, we're not doing this right, yeah. <laughs> right at all. We're we're no. just not. So we we made a conscious decision. Like, God needs to be at the center of our own lives and mm -hmm. at the center of our relationship, and we need to go towards that. And we need to make sure that we are sharpening each other and yeah. building each other up. And we weren't perfect, and and we still messed up a lot. But it really clicked for me the second time we broke up. I was just kind of, I, I don't know, there was a lot going on in my head, in my life. And at that time I was just like, all right, peace. And then he left, I took a nap. <laughs> um, and I woke up and I'm like, wow, this really happened. This could be the last time I see him. Um, I had ended up going to church with some friends because we had already had plans. He was supposed to come with me. I made up some excuse as to why he couldn't. And then it was during that service that I was just like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to you? Why am I trying? I tried so hard to hurt him for no other reason than I just wanted to sabotage what we had. And yeah, it took some growing. It took a lot, a lot of praying, but thankfully we ended up back together and we were just in a much more mature place from there. A lot of trust had to be built back up. Um, but he was a praying man the whole the whole time. I always I always knew who you were. Yeah. Not who you were acting like. Yeah. And I always saw it. That's why I always even if I wasn't getting back the treatment that I thought I should get. You or, were always doing or the, the right thing. I was always trying to. You know, it's true. You reap what you sow. Or you know people say what goes around comes around or whatever. It's a biblical principle yeah. that whatever you invest, you'll get that return with interest usually. <laughs> so I was like, if I just keep sewing into you and I want to be treated with respect, so I'm just gonna be keep treating you with respect. I want you to pray for me when I'm having a hard time. So I'm gonna pray for you when you're having a hard time. And everything I wanted in the relationship, I tried to do it even if I even if it was hard. Yeah. And I just always believed that you treat others how you want to be treated. It will happen mm -hmm. and it will come around and and it did. But um, she needed to really see who her identity was. The Lord needed to heal some things in her. And obviously everybody and everybody watching is still dealing with something that we need, yeah. still need healing from or that we still need to grow, you know, with. It's a never ending journey. But there was healing that needed to happen. And, you know, I just always tried to invest in you, mm -hmm. that you would trust me, um, that I would never try to hurt you on purpose and stuff. Yeah. And like I, like I said, and you I never knew. Did. No, and I knew who you were, not who you were acting like. Yeah. So even though you hurt me a lot for a while there, I was like, this is not you, and I refused to accept that this is who you are because I, I can see that it's not. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, moral of that story is, and continuing in our marriage, God needs to be in the center mm -hmm. of everything we do. Um, he's the glue. Yeah. I mean, he's the reason we're breathing anyway. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Um, but it wasn't all bad, obviously. No, it was just... I feel like we just talked for 30 minutes about <laughs> struggles. <laughs> uh, we I had fun. Just, yeah. We had some great some great times too, obviously. Like you always said, like, oh, I always knew I loved you. I was going to marry you. And I always knew, like, from the moment I met you, I was like, I think I'm going to marry her. Yeah. Right? Like You told me. Like, oh, I'm gonna Tell marry. them the story because it always makes me feel good. I, so we were working at Olive Garden at the time. And uh, the first time I really took notice, I, I was a host. She was a server. And I looked over and I was like, oh my gosh. I just, I, I saw her butt. <laughs> she was like doing cheese at a table. She was like this. Yes. I was not. Ian was the one that would always like be at the computer and his butt's like out. <laughs> because it was low and I was bending down. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. Um, I'm, I'm sidetracked. I don't even know what I was saying. But anyways. Sidetracked by the booty. I saw, yeah, I know. I was like, but yeah, I, always, I, I just knew. Yeah. 
when he told me that, I was like, really? At that point, like my relationship with God wasn't, I mean, it wasn't really a relationship. Um, but then anytime I would try and self-sabotage, I would always go back to that. And I'm like, well, he told me that I am his wife. So, and I knew that, I knew that like deep down, but I was just like, but I just don't feel like I am. But yeah, we had a lot of, we had a lot of really good times. We would drive up to LA just randomly to, Drive through drive like through. Bel Air and Beverly Hills, look, and at, the, look at the houses, and um, we see a lot of uh, sprinkles cupcakes back in the did. day. We did. We ate a lot of sprinkles cupcakes. We learned. I a ate lot. a lot. Period. But <laughs> a hungry boy. Yeah. Um, we did a lot of a lot of things. We, I mean, we spent our whole twenties together. You know, we went through. <laughs> That's true. We're still in our. Are we? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe we're still in our 20s, Liesl. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> we went to college. We both graduated. Yeah. A lot of people want to go through college and be single and get the college single partying experience. And I, even before I was saved, that was never my intention. I've yeah. always been an old lady. He was the one that would always try and text me to get me to come out and like pull all-nighters with his friends. And I'm like... It was only like 9.30. And I was like, you're in bed already? And now 9.30, I'm in bed. <laughs> I was just like, I can't just leave. What am I supposed to do? Get dressed. <laughs> yeah, get dressed. Say, parents, I'm leaving. I mean, you were like 21 at the time or 22. I'm still 22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> last year. Last year, he was trying to get me to come out last yeah, year. Yeah, it was last year. We um, had a baby, too. I was like, baby, you come, too. <laughs> but, yeah, we had a lot of we had a lot of fun. Yeah. And, yeah, it was a lot of turmoil, ups and downs, but I wouldn't trade it for where we are now. Mm-mm. We have so much of a better understanding of each other. We know what each other need. We just learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> In 11 years. Yeah. But this just goes to show that prayer works, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put God at the center and it definitely makes things go a lot smoother, a lot better. We did it for a few years without putting God at the center and it was just a hot mess. Big mess. A big, big mess. Um, I think had we not made that decision, we for sure wouldn't be together. No. I can look back on all the times and I'm just like, you did not deserve what I was doing to you at all. <laughs> oh man, guys, I needed a lot of work. <laughs> but it's okay. I did it with the help of my then boyfriend and 100% of it was God. So <laughs> Yeah. Yep. He, he gets all the glory he gets for, all, it, the for glory. all this. So. That is our testimony. But... That's it, right? I we keep ending it. <laughs> I think that's it. I, yeah. yeah. This is our story. We hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if we ramble, but it's six years trying to be packed into 20-ish minutes. Yeah. Um, we hope you liked it. We hope you liked this next chapter. I guess maybe we could talk about our engagement in the next one. Oh. Maybe. If talk about it. talk about that. We went to this restaurant, this really expensive French restaurant. Man, I paid so much money for a tiny bit of food. <laughs> Goodness. Another story. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Um, if you like this video, then like it. Give it a thumbs up. Yes, share it. Know. Yes, 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 share it. Share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment. You're about to say comment. something about comments. I was just going to say comment. If you have any sort of an experience like ours, or if you have any questions, I don't know that we're the best at giving advice, but we may yeah, be I mean, able to. If we can, we will. If we, we don't can. really consider ourselves like an advice channel. This is just what we went through and yeah. our, our personal experience. Right. Yeah. So comment, yeah. like, subscribe. subscribe to the channel, please. And all we've been getting like a lot of subscribers. Yeah. Well, for us, it's a lot lately and we're like floored. So thank you. Welcome all our new subscribers. Yes. Yep. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. That's right. And I won't cry. Hopefully. Me neither. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. <laughs>